<laughs> we got the family tree here. Okay. We have the family tree. Yeah. The NWA. The NWA tree. NWA the family the dopest, tree. The, one of the dopest family, family trees, trees of hip-hop. all time. Yeah. Like you, I'm going to do this real quick for y'all fellas. Of all fucking time. Take it off the studio. There we go. So y'all can see it. I know you can't read none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, I sent it to you too, right? Oh, you did? I don't know. Now you fucking jack on me. All right. All right. Only nigga who ain't contribute was Arabian Prince. Only nigga who didn't contribute to this family tree is Arabian Prince. I don't think Arabian Prince got a mission. I don't. I don't know that for a fact. Yeah, but he did something. He might have gave them niggas a ride or something. That's about it. Like, they didn't even mention that nigga in the movie, cuz. I don't know. I ain't talking. I know some about Arabian Prince, but. He, he, it, as far as I know, especially with the group, it was no contribution he made to the group. At he least, made, he had some rhymes. He, he, he bought a couple of raps in there. Very, because it was an album was before. Was he a DJ? No, nah, he was a rapper. Before Scray Out of Compton, they had a, uh, NWA in the posse. Okay. Was the Arabian on? Prince was in the posse. Was, was he the link to the DJ that played their records? No. Did he bring Michelle Lay to the table? No. What the Sweet. fuck he do? Dr. Dre found her and he fucked man, her. Man, look that <laughs> shit up, man, before you talk shit about wow. him. Oh, no, they said he left before the release of Straight Outta Compton. Okay, yeah. but who the fuck, what did he do, though? He how rapped. Did he, no, but uh-huh. how did he contribute to make the list? Everybody on the list, you know who the fuck they did. I mean, by, I mean when they Except said... Except Jimmy Z, who the fuck is... It, it, it's, <laughs> when Easy he came up with Boys and the Guitar and... Uh, and uh, Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yomo and Malky. I and think that's a Malky. Bone Thugs and Harmony group. Bone Thugs. Who? Cocaine. I know who that Cocaine, is. Cocaine. I know who that is. JJ Fad. I know who JJ that is. JJ Fad. Easy. Yeah. Hoes with Attitude. Oh, easy. easy. They was fat as a bitch too. They was. Hoes with Attitude. Oh, yeah. You remember Hoes with Attitude? Hose they had the goddamn outfits. Yeah. The little leather strap yeah, outfits on. It was real. I miss Hoes. I remember all they had the record. All they had the record in front of them. Shout out all this. Do they look like Hoes for real? Yes, they did. It was dressed like hoes. Yeah, I ain't saying they were hoes. It's side, bro. It definitely dressed like hoes. <laughs> yeah, I know. They don't like hoes and shit, but I but like hoes. Yeah, it was hoes. Oh. Everybody took a purpose. No, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody had What the fuck did DJ Yellow do? Besides, uh, DJ Yellow's a DJ. DJ, 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 DJ. DJ did he help? Did he help discover Bone Thugs? He produced like? porn, too. I don't know about that. It's no way. He, he's, he, he's, he discovered Bone Thugs and Harmony. Arabian so. Prince on this motherfucker, if you can see it. This nigga is the headliner that drop all of them niggas together. I was about to, I, I, I was about to say that, but I didn't know if that was true. The headliner. That, look at the picture. Arabian Prince is at the top. He dropped in the NWA, and everybody else come off of Arabian Prince. So he he was one of the founding members of NWA. Yeah, so, so that's for what, him. It might not have been an NWA. Yeah, basically. I don't, I don't, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know. So you got to look it up. I ain't from maybe he came up with a name. Nah, nah, man, he came up with a name. But um, leaves before release of straight up. Okay. All right, but it's safe to say that Dr. Dre is the is the is the, is, the, is, the, is the main ingredient. No. That created hip hop. No. 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 Dre. No. 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 Dre? no. Who more? Who was more? Who was, who was more Cube. valuable to the Indian Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Cube. Easy E and Cube are equally he said, important he said to the twice. No, Ice Cube, Easy, Easy and, Cube. and Dre. Okay. I you got them. You should say Ice Cube twice. Yeah. Because he rapped <laughs> and wrote. <laughs> yeah. You think Cube got more, 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 more pull than Dre? No, I yeah. say more. Well, I early. say more pull, but in, in the earlier days in that way, Ice Cube was writing all that shit. Know. Okay, we talking about right now as far as overall. And Ren. And Ren, yeah. I mean, shout out to Ren, but Q was writing his shit, Easy E shit. And uh, whoever else was writing, oh, DOC, shout out to DOC, to DOC. Yeah. DOC was, was writing Dre shit? He was writing, he was writing a lot of nigga shit. Yeah, out the gate though, Easy, since everybody think I'm fucking drunk, Easy, fucking goddamn Dr. Dre and Cube is the most important people to that shit. Only goddamn Equally important. Beginning. You think so? Equally important, yeah. Fuck yeah. Equally important. Easy was a fucking business. Dre was a fucking music. Q was a writer. Q was a writer. Okay. It yeah. needed all three of them. That's safe to say. Yeah. Needed all three of them. Yeah, without all three yeah. of them. Yeah. And out of ran. all, out of all, out the who? What's your favorite? If you had to pick one NWA song, either solo. What's your favorite NWA song? Appetite for Destruction. Wow, that's a dope record. Too. Yeah, that's Boys in the Hood. My favorite shit. 
You know what my favorite John was? And I know that's easy as a bitch. Bro. Yeah. I like boys. Um, no, hold on, let me think. My favorite NW record was Fox from that tree. Mm-hmm. Grand finale. <clears throat> Ooh. Yes. That grand yes. finale. You're talking about from the whole fucking From that, that, tree? that, that, that tree. That's yeah, my I mean, favorite was, record. It was DOC song, but he had all, all the them niggas on it. Today was oh, a yeah. good day. Wow. Is the best record out of the whole. Ice Cube Joe. Oh, today was a good day, Sean. That's the classic to that this day. That shit is one of my favorite records of all time. It's a classic Shard. to this day. Out of the whole family tree today. It's one of those songs you should. It's one of those songs you should know. But Grand Finale is a dope. I ain't mad. Song. It is. Prison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Man, Ice Cube said. What? Oh shit. Yeah, that was a good song. Oh yeah, my now, God. I got, yeah, he that's got a good song. Adventure. That's a good song. I mean, but it's so much to choose from. And that was so 89. It's so much to choose from. Right? So that was 1989. Let's not go down a snoop. You know what I'm saying? No, we ain't gonna it's snoop. so much. I, don't, I, don't, I was going to say, because out of the whole group for me, and it's kind. Of, it may be kind of cliche, is but it's next episode. I just mm, like next episode. next episode. I mean, I it's like so it. many songs, man. It's so many songs. You we had to pick one though. It's funny. Nobody said Eminem. Nobody said Fifty Cent. Yeah. Nobody no, said they, they, Thugs. They, they, like it's a lot of records that came out with to me. And yeah. we, we we stuck with the classics. We're going though. to the yeah. We're going to the core. This man, one of the rare that. occasions where I can look at everybody that got a catalog and that shit. And honestly, say what was my favorite fucking song? You know, what my second favorite record was "Excuse the Cursing." Mm-hmm. Bitches ain't shit. Oh, Bitches ain't awesome. shit was dope. Had a bad influence on my life. <laughs> 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 that song stays in my head all the time. <laughs> 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 And Every look, time you do something, I hear that. <laughs> 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 and look, so let's um, you about to get it. Go ahead, Sean. Everybody want to take a little piece of this shit and run down. I take Ruthless record. All right. Who okay. you gonna take? Who who you want to take from I Shady Records? I take Aftermath. Aftermath. What you want to take? Death Row. Yeah. All right. I take. I, as a matter of fact, Rock, fuck that. Cause you old goddamn golden age nigga. You take ruthless records. I take that bro. All right, from Easy E. Easy E came gave us JJ Fad. He gave us who the fuck is Tara B. I never heard that before. He gave us Above the Law, Cocaine, Yo Mo and Malky, Jimmy Z. Never heard of Penthouse players. I didn't hear them. Playhouse players click at me. Hoes with attitude. Hoes with attitude. Menage a twat. I don't remember them. Menage a twat. I don't remember them either. Uh, Blood of Abraham. I remember them. Yeah. Platinum selling Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs, bone thugs, thugs and Harmony. Bone thugs. Yeah, Kid yeah. Frost. Kid right. Frost. Until the day, I didn't even know Hops that came from the Easy E tree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stevie Stone, who the fuck is that? And Derek E3 Wright. You know what I mean? And then who? I guess Abitan. Abitan Clan. Little Easy. Oh, little Easy, little little easy is a kid. Okay. And they got Abban Ab- Clan. Abban Ab- Ab- Clan brought Will I Am. I didn't, didn't, and I forgot yeah. Will I Am came from the Easy yeah. Tree. Okay. You know who Will I Am is? Easy. Is um Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Super Fern. producer. Super yeah. producer extraordinaire. Yeah. I, now that I get, forget Michelle A. Oh, Michelle came. A. Yeah. They got DOC coming from Rufus Records. He did. He did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, his, I, album I, was, his album was released on Rufus Records. I thought that was Dr. Dre. But it was still released on Rufus Records. Okay. You got DOC. Michelle Lay. DLC, the best rapper that never was. And I, can I say this for y'all, girl? Mm. Agree. Mm-hmm. Facts. Michelle Lay had one of the greatest Love singles song. ever. Something in my heart. That was the greatest song ever. Okay. And still, I'm mad because I'm a, I'm a fan of all these singing shows. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody ever sung that song. That is so true. That's ain't true. nobody that's never sung that song. That's for real. But it's not even an easy song to sing. Yeah, that's it's not an easy song to sing. Okay, challenge, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Come yeah. on here, you sing that <laughs> yeah. song. She, she has such bitch. a unique voice. Exactly. No one has come close to having a voice. Michelle Lee, she she yeah. she could sing, dog. Yeah. Yeah, she could sing her ass. Yeah. And I'm going to go even further than that. Top 25, one of the greatest records ever made. Okay. So that's that's my that's yeah, fair. I, I can go that's with that. Fair. Love songs? That's yes. Fair. In your lifetime. Yeah. Yes. In your generation. Right, and I, yeah. Right. I can go yeah, with that. Yeah, because you, you, you. Some of my heart definitely yeah, a classic. Because you, you ask some Stevie Wonder shit. Who y'all got next? Yeah, and that shit ain't what's up. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, I got Dr. Dre, okay. Aftermath. Mm. Aftermath, um, Dre gave, Dre gave birth. Talking to Mike. I go. Dre gave birth to, uh, well, I was going to say, like, Honorable mention, he really did get birth to DOC, even he though did. DOC was on Rufus Records. Really Dr. Dre was the power behind DOC. Really DOC still worked with Dr. Dre.